Hi, I'm Vince. And I'm Michelle. Welcome to our channel, Travel and Coach. Get ready to embark on a thrilling journey with us as we explore travel, discovering cool adventures, while uniquely empowering our viewers with inspiring coaching insights. In our inaugural episode, we are setting out for an eight-day cruise aboard Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, which is currently the world's largest cruise ship. Not only is this our first cruise ever, but we are celebrating our 35th anniversary. Now come away with us for travel sites and coaching insights with the Traveling Coach. Today is travel day. You know, someone once said to us, when you live in San Diego, California, why would you ever need to take a vacation? Well, you know, simply put, because there are so many beautiful places around the world. We're headed out to San Diego International Airport, formerly called Lindbergh Field, named after American aviator Charles Lindbergh. In fact, the Spirit of St. Louis was built right here in San Diego. Well, we made it through TSA with no problem, and we decided we were going to hang out at the Aspire Airport Lounge since we have a couple of hours before our flight. We hung out, relaxed, and we enjoyed our continental breakfast. Then we boarded our flight to Orlando, Florida. Now, we are so excited for this. As we're taxiing, I always have to notice with pride the yellow barracks of MCRD, or Marine Corps Recruit Depot. It's where young recruits from the western U.S. go to become Marines. It's also where Vince and one of our sons went for boot camp. After a four and a half hour flight, we arrive in Orlando and we have dinner on our mind. The hunt is on for the perfect steakhouse that also serves stone crab claw. And then touchdown, we find the perfect steakhouse. Charlie Steakhouse in Orlando, the wonderful menu and stone crab claw. What do you think? You looking for that stone crab? I am. I came all the way to Orlando for stone crab. I'm looking forward to it. Look at that. The following day, we hopped into our rental car and headed east to Cocoa Beach where we're staying for our evening before our big cruise. Cocoa Beach is just a few minutes from Port Canaveral where the Royal Caribbean Terminal is. We decided to visit the Cocoa Beach Pier for lunch. The food was great. The weather was perfect. It said the best surfing on the East Coast is here, and we did see about a half dozen people surfing. It was interesting to learn that Cocoa Beach is home to the TV series I Dream of Jeannie. Astronaut John Glenn was given a major hero's parade, 
and 11-time world champion surfer Kelly Slater calls Cocoa Beach home. Finally, after an eight-year delay, our dream was here. It's cruise day, our first cruise ever. Yes, Michelle and I both teared up with great joy. We had to cancel our Oasis of the Seas cruise years ago. Not long after that, Michelle and I were homeless. Going on a Royal Caribbean cruise seemed like it was an impossibility, like it would never, ever happen for us. Today, celebrating 35 years of marriage and overcoming significant odds and bouncing back from homelessness, we are boarding the largest cruise ship in the world, the Wonder of the Seas. We were amazed as to how large it was inside. It was like walking into a mall. There were shops, restaurants, people were friendly. And you never know when you may need to take a drive when you're on a cruise ship. I wonder if they'd get mad if I climbed into that Mustang. And now the elevator up to our stateroom. Oh, look at... <gasps> How nice! Happy anniversary! <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Surprise. I think our key's over, over there in the door. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, look at how sweet. Look at that. Got decorated. They did. Wow. What does that say? I did. What does that say? I, I do. do. I will. Always. <laughs> wow. Happy 35th anniversary, sweetie. Happy 35th, babe. All right. Sorry, guys. I got to go off camera here. I got to kiss my queen here. Mm -hmm. Love you, sweetie. Love you. And look at it. And look at that. More decorations. They got it all going. Look at that. Wow. Is that awesome or what? I'm touched. Huh? I am very touched. Awesome. Yes, and they gave us water. By now, <laughs> we're parched. Oh, look at it. Look at that. You even got a frame? Yeah, for the picture that we didn't get when we boarded. <laughs> awesome. You want to come out here? And what did someone just drop off for us? What a surprise, chocolate dri uh, dipped strawberries. What do you think? They're awesome. I can't wait to taste them. I know, I'm ready to dig in. Try one. Try one. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. They chocolate just dropped them off. Mmm. Awesome. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Delish. I'm going to hit one. So we're hanging out. We've completed check-in and still here at Port Canaveral. If you look across the way, you can see Cape Canaveral, NASA's Kennedy Space Center.
cool. But now we're going to head up and we are getting ready for Sail Away. And out to the open ocean we go. There are eight neighborhoods on the Wonder of the Seas. One of those is Central Park. Let's go check it out. It's hard to believe that our cruise journey has begun. Day one has arrived. Today, I had to reflect. I reflected on this opportunity, an opportunity that was previously lost. Our world turned upside down when we went homeless. We'll share our story in a future video. But no matter how things look, no matter how bad it appears, keep rising, keep hope. Would it seem like no hope, no chance of coming out of homelessness? Just remember that things do turn around. If you make sure not to miss those moments of opportunity, you just never know that one day you rise up stronger and experiencing a dream come true. We intentionally wanted to sail on the wonder of the seas because we knew that it was truly a wonder that we would go from homelessness to passengers on the largest cruise ship in the world. So for now, thank you for joining us for our first episode. Until our next video with our sea days and a day at St. Martin, please like, share, and please help us out and subscribe to our channel for more travel adventures and inspiring coaching insights. Until then, see you in our next video.